whenever you're ready. Welcome back to Elvis Fans Matter. Here we are again. <laughs> and we got some more questions and uh, this is the end of this one. No. <laughs> <laughs> we'll get ready. <laughs> we'll, we'll start answering a few of them. Right. When the uh, when I get to it, yeah, when she gets um, to it, the questioner. Mm -hmm. Do Billy and Joe hear a lot? Who is that? Billy and Joe. Billy and Joe. <laughs> Billy and Joe. <laughs> oh no! Billy no. and Joe. <laughs> what? Do we what? No, go ahead. Do y'all hear a lot from Jerry Schilling? Mm. Once in a while, Once but in not a, while. a lot. Not no. a lot. I wouldn't say a lot. Once in a great while. Um, was um, Priscilla ever snooty towards any of the Memphis Mafia wives or girlfriends? <laughs> I don't know if you'd call it snooty. I mean... I would, in a way. In, in a way, but when she first came... Um, she was just, you know, like everybody else. We, uh, she, she was a little different when Elvis was home. When Elvis was gone, she was not. I guess it, I guess she acted a certain way. But uh, when um, she was just with us, I mean, she'd try to pull a rank sometimes, but it didn't work. <laughs> I guess if you want to say rank, I know when we first started touring, one of the one of the guys' girlfriends told me that they um, that one of the guys' girlfriends had a rank for everybody, and I said, "Ah, uh -uh, that don't float." So, uh, you know, I guess they're they're right. I don't think anybody's any better than anybody else. So, right. you know, that that's the way that goes. Right. Um, were you close to Shirley Dew? Um, I got along with Shirley Dew, yeah, okay. Uh, I, I aggravated her a lot, and... You know. <laughs> Memphis Mafia Princess. <laughs> well, you know. That's I think the way I, things are sometimes. I think we were all I think the Memphis Mafia. Uh, I wouldn't say princess. I'd say whatever. Other choice words? Huh? Other girlfriends. Girlfriends, yeah. wives, yeah. Um, you know, whatever. Yeah. But, you know, Shirley was Joe's girlfriend, and she, um, we never did have any real problems. Were you um, overall... Would you say you were closest to Patsy Lacker? Patsy Lacker? Oh, yeah. Out yeah. of Pat all of out of all of the wives and girlfriends? Yeah. Patsy Lacker was my rock. We we went through a lot of the same things, and we just, when the guys were gone, we, we hung together. She had three kids. I had two, and we just, um, you know, consoled each other. <laughs> She was my my best friend um, from I guess the day I met her. We just hit it off, and I miss her. Yeah. All right. Um, one uh, question says: I've seen documentaries where other Memphis Mafia guys have said they truly love Colonel Tom Parker. What are Billy's true feelings about the Colonel? Well, I wouldn't, uh, I liked the Colonel, you know, I mean, I wouldn't say I loved him, but I liked him, you know, and uh, he was, was always good to me. Yeah, he was always and, good uh, to you. And your family. Uh, and my family, right. And so, you know, I, I don't, I got my feelings about things that Colonel done, you know, uh, or did uh, for Elvis, you know, that, I thought it would have been better, but then I had no control over any of the, no. the business, not even say so. You know, you didn't you didn't butt into their business. That was between Elvis and Carl and Carl and nobody right. else. I think a lot of, the, of his stuff was kind of silly that he did, yeah. or wanted the guys, Elvis's. I think he did that a lot, though, because 
all the guys were loyal to Elvis, and he kind of wanted to maybe put them down a little bit, you know, with his little mm -hmm. little yeah. skits and things he had people do. Yeah. Did Vernon and Colonel ever butt heads? Mm -hmm. Oh. I mean, did not that I remember, you know. I, uh, do you think your uncle Vernon knew though that some of the stuff that he he did maybe he didn't agree fully, but again knew it was between Elvis and Colonel, yeah, and it yeah, wasn't his place. Yeah, he wasn't going. Yeah, he didn't he didn't uh, get involved in the show business part, part. of it. He was more involved in the uh, personal right. and financial part. At the office of and home. Let's see, what about Jean and Louise? Mm, I loved uh, um, Jean. said they would like to hear more stories of Jean and Louise, <laughs> um, that they saw Louise's interview and said that she asked Jean to stay home with her and their three children and he decided to stop going on the road. Yeah. Um, was that the situation? Yeah, pretty much. Pretty much. Yeah, that's uh, Jean, uh, the traveling part, you know, uh, that was tough. It was. It was real tough. And, uh, you know, it's like when Danny and, and, well, Danny, when he got ready to go to school, and at that time, you know, my daddy was you know, not doing real good. So, you know, I had to make a decision. I mean, I had right. to leave Elvis's employment, too, which, you know, is just circumstance that happened that you got to deal with. Right. So, uh, and that's the way it was with you. <clears throat> a lot of the guys were like yeah. that. Red was gone sometimes and yeah. uh, Marty was gone sometimes. Joe was gone. Lamar was gone. You know, different times and different things that happened in their life they had to take a take a little break. Take most break. most of the time it yeah. was a, a short break. Yeah. <laughs> and they were right back. But um uh, that was that was with every one of them, really. I know Mike Keaton uh, left when um, they had their kids, and he finally left. The, and his wife's name was Gladys, and they, um, she was a teacher, and I think Mike was too. And um, they left, and Sonny left. You know, for all of them left, uh, and some of them came back. Some of were there hard didn't. feelings with Elvis when any of the guys said they needed a break to to handle personal business? Uh, Do you think he like held it against them or had hard feelings? Mm, I don't think I don't so. No, uh, I know he um, he didn't like it a, a lot, uh, but um, especially with Billy because he called constantly and was trying to. <laughs> lure him back. <laughs> I was like, ah. <laughs> but um, do you have any? Do you have any good stories with Jean and Louise? Oh, there's a lot of great stories with Jean and Louise. Uh, now Louise and Anita were real good friends, and they were, you know, I I started to date Billy before Anita was gone, and I I loved Anita. She was, you know, like Billy said earlier, she was fun, friendly. Uh, Louise, I, I was crazy about Louise. Louise was. Uh, she was a, a good person, and and um, of course Billy and Jean were close. All in for anything. Yeah, you know. in for anything, and. No, Jean was your cousin, right? Mm -hmm. Right. Okay. But the, they were always. Um, and Jean and Elvis were, you know, close. Uh, really close. Yeah, you know, they were. And. Uh, how is how was Jean y'all's cousin? Well. His. Uh, his mother. Uh, Aunt Lavelle was uh, his daddy, my and daddy, Gladys's Travis sister. and Gladys's sister. Oh, gotcha. Yeah. Okay, so he was first cousins on both for yeah. you and Elvis. Gotcha. Her, his mother's name was, her maiden name was Smith, and she married a man that his name was Smith. So that's okay. why Jean's name is Smith. Okay. She married Ed Smith. Gotcha. Okay. So um, he, that's how that's why his name is. Uh, Smith and unlike Wayne Mann, Wayne was is Aunt gotcha. Lillian's Lillian son who was their sister too. Gotcha. Yeah. But, but uh, yeah. it was his daddy's so, last yeah. name. Gotcha. Okay. That makes sense then. That makes sense. Okay. All right. Um, did Elvis ever say to either one of you that he wished he had stayed with Anita? 
Mm, never did to me. No, not to me either. No. no uh, I know he was crazy about Anita. Yeah. He, he, he really was. But, um, you know. Elvis just was not a one woman man. I'm sorry. You know, I hate to. It, it's almost like you're putting the girlfriends and the wives yeah. down. Right, but, but it's not to put it them down. Was, it's it the wasn't truth. that. It's just, it was him. He just, you know. Uh, he was fickle. <laughs> yeah, he. Very. Know, he just. Love women. <laughs> <Put it that way. laughs> if you had, and this is strictly like an opinion, you know, your opinion. If you had to choose one woman that you believe Elvis that that was the closest thing to making him happy, if you out of his girlfriends, if you had to pick one, which one do you think he would have ended up with, or should have, or maybe I don't even. The question isn't. The question just says if you had to choose one woman that you believe that was the closest thing to making Elvis happy and you, you it was your opinion who he would pick, who would you pick? Uh, you know who I would pick. <laughs> yeah, I. it's hard to say because all of them made him happy. You know, At different I mean, times, when yeah. He, when they were with him. Uh, Some was, made him happier. What, yeah. Gotcha. Well, maybe we don't. We don't I would know. Say, I, that's speaking for Elvis, and you can't. Yeah, you right. can't. I would uh, say Linda, Anita, uh, yeah, Priscilla, maybe. I, I don't know. I like Billy. I guess said, all of them, Ginger. All of them, you know. Yeah. All of them at different times. Different yeah. times, they made him happy and yeah. satisfied his needs. We would and say the ones that, that we, if we pick, we, yeah, we pick the one for we him. Like yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, then I mean, and you, mine would be Linda would be Thompson, Linda. Yeah. without a doubt. Yeah, me too. God. You too. Yeah. Um, is one of Elvis's horses buried at Graceland? I don't. Uh, you know, I don't probably, know. I don't know. I don't know if Son was buried there or not. Or I Domino. Just, I don't know if Domino was. I remember them uh, dying, but I don't remember if they disposed of them or if they were buried up there. I, right. I have no idea about that. Um. I don't know if they was cremated or. Oh, that's what I was going to ask. Were any of them buried uh, down at the ranch? Well, I, I never saw I any orange so. up there, but then I hadn't been back. Right. So, you know. right. <laughs> people, <laughs> I mean, people, people actually do that, uh, have their pets yeah, cremated do. and put in Keep urns and, I know, and I've seen kept that. them. And yeah. I have well, at least same like with Roy Rogers, you know, he had his whole trigger mm -hmm. yeah. stuff, you know. But, uh, yeah. you know, as far as I know, I don't know. Uh, what happened to them? You know, because they died well, after we. Yeah, left. after right. we left it, they still were there. I mm -hmm. I don't have any idea what happened to them mm -hmm. at all. I don't know what happened to Bear or the Bear was Thundercloud. Yeah, Thundercloud. I don't know um, Ebony. I don't know what happened to any of them. Midnight, none of them. Mm -hmm. don't know. Mid yeah, I don't know. Was there ever an instance where an Elvis fan got a hold of maybe the the Graceland home phone number? I mean, at the time there weren't cell phones, so were they ever were fans actually got a hold of a <laughs> of a direct number and called up to Graceland? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not Elvis's private. Not his private, not not but his the house room. phone. No. Yeah, you didn't give that out. Mm -mm. If you did, he had it changed the next mm -hmm. day. Would happen. How many? How many people approximately had his private number? Would you say uh, just the guys did? Very few, because uh, mm -hmm. you know, cause, you know he, Elvis gave his that. private number to who he wanted to give mm -hmm. it to, and if there's somebody called that that, that he knew wasn't supposed to have it, then you know he had a new private number. He had a new private number, right. and then they. Uh, what would people say when Joe they call the house? Huh? What would they say if, like, if somebody called called just the regular Graceland line? What kind of what would they what would they ask? Mostly, say? Uh, is he going to the movie tonight, or is he going out anytime soon, or you know, I mean, something like that? If who answered though, I mean, would they tell it? Well, they might tell them. You know, it, it didn't matter if he was going to the movie or not because 
it, only the ones that Elvis approved yeah. could get in anyway. But um, sometimes, and sometimes they'd carry on. With I mean, them. would you get followed and stuff like that? Oh, you'd get followed no matter if right. they knew it or not. They knew so that. whether whether somebody on the phone said, "Yeah, yeah. he's going to such yeah. and such," but and a lot of times the guards would say, "You know, he's yeah, I think he's going to the movie tonight." Now, Elvis internet back in was unbelievable. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> just word yeah. of mouth. They, yeah, in California, <laughs> they would you know call a friend to say Elvis in is Memphis. Left yeah, and he's you know, it was. And, yeah, you're right. And they they did. Yeah, they would know. The fans you know, in California coming. would call, like Billy said, and tell a fan in Memphis. He he just the plane just left. Yeah, and you know then they'd be at the airport yeah. okay. waiting for the so that plane was like to land. The, the Elvis network back in yeah. the day right. was word of mouth. Back, right. back in the day was the phone. Was and fun. somebody would always if Elvis's car went out. Uh, I mean it was they would cut in and out of traffic, take run red lights, everything else to keep up with his car. But but they would also run block for him. They call their self protecting him. Yeah. And which he realized, you know, that they did it. And they would like follow us to the movies and it and they would stand out there half the night if they didn't come into the movie and guard his car. Yeah. Guard whatever was his. They took his fans took care of it. They for the loved most him. part they were good hearted and they, they were. meant they meant well, but what was What's something that the most extreme somebody's gone to just to get to see him or get close to him or probably melling themselves up there in the box that time. <laughs> that one, yeah, that was that was one. Uh, jumping over the fence and hiding up under a car, crawling uh -huh. up under a car and hiding, and then taking the chance of maybe getting in. And believe it or not, there were a couple that actually, you know, made it. So yeah. did the person well, we that... We couldn't guard all the doors all the time. You know? And also, we used to play uh, <laughs> racquetball at the uh, what, um, country club. Um, Colonial? Was it Colonial Country Club? or I, I can't remember I of the remember name. Or it might have been about it. Cherokee. or uh, We played at a lot of different places in Memphis Maybe. State. But um, uh, one guy even tried to start a fight just to get to get Elvis to come out. He got, it started with Billy in the racquetball building. He got in some way to the racquetball building. Uh, and they were pretty sauced. Yeah. To say the least. Right. And, you know, they, Did well, the, the, the people that went to those so extremes big, get away? my language, but that's you know, he, he ain't too good to see me. You know, I mean, I, you know, <laughs> And that kind of stuff. And after a while, you know, that gets really yeah. annoying. The only way to, I always said, the only way to tolerate a drunk is get drunk. Is be <laughs> drunk with them or get away from them. Yeah. I mean, that's because, mm -hmm. you know, they're going to, uh, they going to make a scene. Yeah. You know, you Did know. the people that went to the extreme, not the fights or whatever, but like mailing themselves to Graceland or getting <coughs> in the car, did it, did it work? Did they get to see Elvis? I mean, did he think? Not sometimes, all the time. Sometimes, sometimes right. not all sometimes. the time. Sometimes yeah, it blew, time. you know, yeah. blew up in their face. But, but I mean, sometimes did it hit him instead of thinking, okay, <coughs> they're nuts. It was, hey, they're doing this for me, so I'm gonna, oh, yeah. I'm gonna say hello, see yeah. him, whatever. Yeah, no, Elvis he never was did not, think any of them were nuts. No, and, and I mean, you know he he, he was he not knew, stuck you know, up. That they were going to try yeah. to see him to try different and, things. But I mean, where did he mail he, himself uh, from? Huh? huh? Where was he from? The one that mailed himself? Where did that was a two girls. Him, it was two, two girls. girls. It was two yeah. girls. Yeah, yeah. Like, and they had themselves. They put had somebody put them in a crate and um, ship them up to Graceland. You know where? I mean, where were they from? I have no like idea. Like how far they traveled? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if it was just from Memphis or if it was dropped right. off the gate but and carried up or what. Uh, they got to see him. They, they thought he thought that was hilarious. Yeah. But uh, you know, that's just the way his friends were. You know, they had try anything to get to see Elvis. Right. Mm -hmm. just, uh, <laughs> Some fans are extra. You hear nowadays like death threats and stuff. I mean, did he ever have that type of, you know, where somebody gave a death threat where they were just so obsessed? Yeah, we had a. Um, we were leaving. Was it Pittsburgh? Yeah. And uh, he, uh, we we got on the plane and it was freezing cold because he had decided he Ooh, wanted to leave right then. It was, it was freezing, and they came back and told Elvis that. It, 
they had a bomb threat. And on the plane? For the plane. We were, we were on there. I'm like, yeah, a bomb threat. Because, you know, that's back then they were doing stuff like that. And uh, they said, what do you want to do? And Elvis said, uh, I don't care. He said, I'm not getting off. Um, he, they, they, you know, searched it out and everything anyway. And he said, I say, let's go on. And he said, we're, you know, it's cold. It, maybe it'll warm things up a little. And I bet y'all's ass is true up. Billy said, huh? I said, I bet y'all's ass is true up. Man was. Billy said, I think you were the one that said it might warm it up a little. Way. Might warm up a little, yeah. You know, I mean, uh, you, uh, they were going to search the plane. They, right. they searched, they searched the, the plane. You know. And, and you know, uh, the baggage, everything. They I mean, searched. there was nothing no. there, but was it just no. a thing to make? He well, said, hell, I'd rather go quick is to freeze death. <laughs> yeah. That was Elvis, you know. Uh, they found out later it was uh, fans that had hoped he would get off the plane. Be grounded and have to get Well, the they wanted a picture, and they if he got off the plane, they could, like, you know, zoom. Yeah. it was at the airport, and zoom in and get a picture. They didn't get there in time to get the picture they wanted. and jail for stuff like that. <laughs> yeah, but... But they didn't. I don't guess. <laughs> I don't back know. In. And then I think he had Maybe. a death threat one time in Vegas, didn't he? Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, he got a death threat, but that, you know, only a couple of times. You know, that's when the, all that was, you know, yeah. in going to play you know, in the in the nation, you know. Right. In the United it was States. it was very popular to give death yeah. threats. I, I've given Billy a few. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm still and he's here. still here. <laughs> well, I think on that note, we can <laughs> we can wrap this one up. Keep sending your questions in to well, us. Give me some paper, um, and I need some scotch and, tape. And wrap it. Yeah, up. wrap it up. Wrap it up. Um, like on Mama's family, where wind she said, wind, "I'm gonna wind it up." Wind it up. <laughs> but uh, keep. Uh, share them with your friends. Keep subscribing. Keep sending your questions yeah. in. And until next time, what do Elvis, we always say? Elvis fans matter. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share. Thanks for watching.